Yeah. I'm coming after the chef that served Naruto the Ichiraku ramen. Nobody's safe here. Let's pump for this. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just search Naruto eating ramen. I'm coming after that chef. If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> Let me show you how easy it is to make Naruto's favorite ramen. Don't blank. First things first, we're gonna clean our bowl. Why do we clean our bowl? The cleaning process will help with a clear broth. So I got six pounds of pork bones here. Boiling time, 15 minutes. 15 minutes up, pour out your impurities. All we're doing now, cleaning the bone or cleaning any bits of impurities off. Throw them back into the pool. Nothing to it now. Fill my pot up to 16 quarts of water. Throw this back onto my stove top here. To this beautiful stock, I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of salt, one stock of green onion, one whole ginger root. Lastly, two whole onions. You know what guys, I lied. I forgot all about this. I have a cup of portobello mushrooms here from the longevity episode. Nothing to this now. Stock must sit at a medium high heat for six hours. Minimum. Next, our toppings. So I got some chasu pork. Well, pork belly here. To marinate, one tablespoon of sesame oil, half a cup of white wine, two tablespoon of mirin, two tablespoon of light soy sauce, two tablespoon of brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of Chinese spice spice, and I'm going to do half a tablespoon of white pepper. Take your beautiful glove, clean hand, get into it, guys. It's gonna get a little messy, but it's gonna be worth it in the end, right? Make sure you rub it into every single crack, guys. It's a must. Let this sit for two hours. Next topping, green onions, guys. Next, Naruto Maki. I believe this is just fish, guys. It's just fish sticks shaped into something very nice. <laughs> it's a nice little twirl on it. If you guys are wondering, and if you guys are from Canada, I got this at Team T. So I'm just gonna slice this down. Next, I couldn't find any minma or pickled bamboo. But I got something better, pickled turnip here. So all I'm gonna do, pretty much just slice it down, guys. I'll say it still tastes delicious, like the minma or the bamboo or the pickled bamboo. Still gives its purpose and the same color too, right? <laughs> so slice this. Topping, our perfect boiled egg. So all we're gonna do, take your egg, wait for the water to boil, once it boils, just throw them into the pool, guys. I don't care if they can swim. You just have to get it. Boiling time, six minutes. Make sure, guys, six minutes only. As we wait for our eggs to boil, let's make a bath for them just to sit in. So I got a third cup of mirin, one tablespoon of sesame oil, three tablespoon of soy sauce, a cup of water, tablespoon of sugar. Mix that in, and there it is. Your egg bath. Six minutes up, out of the hot pool, into the cold pool. Take you guys over here, and we're gonna peel them right away, guys. Don't let them cool down too much. You guys follow the six minute step, you're gonna have the perfect egg. Once you got that nice and peeled, drop them into our soy base pool. You guys wanna know what six minutes does to an egg? So I just peel this. I'm on the science for this place. It's kinda cold right now, so it kinda cooled down, but you guys get the point. This is what six minutes does to an egg. Did the sunlight just killed it? <laughs> Lastly, our pork has been sitting for two hours. Nothing to it. I'm gonna roll it up. I'll do my best to roll it up. Take my chopstick. Oh, not my chopstick. Some skewers. I'm just gonna stab it in just to hold it in place. Just like this. So I got two tablespoons of olive oil here. Take my pork roast and I'm gonna sear all the sides. Searing time, two minutes on each side. Once you got that nice seared all around, I'm just gonna throw it into my baking sheet. Oven's preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Throw it in for 40 to 50 minutes. To this, guys, we got the rest of the sauce here. All we're gonna do, Put the sauce down, and we're just gonna base it after. Fresh ramen time. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best fresh ramen made at home. Don't blame. To make good fresh ramen at home, I got 300 ml of warm water here. I got this right here. This stuff right here is the secret right here, guys. <laughs> so it's just baked baking soda. So how do you get baked baking soda? All you do is bake 
bake baking soda for one hour. So the reason why we bake baking soda is because the baked baked baking soda will make the water more alkaline and it'll help give the ramen texture noodle its texture and color. So one tablespoon of this into our water. We're gonna mix this with our water. Toss in three cups of flour. Make a little well. Take our alkaline water and we're just gonna pour it in slowly. To know that your baked baking soda water is legit is when you see a tinted yellow color to the texture here. Pour in a little at a time. No rush, just a little at a time. This is probably the hardest dough you guys will ever work with. So please be aware of that. It's kind of awkward to say, yeah. Very awkward, very awkward to work with. And all we're looking for guys, come on, we all know this when we're making ramen noodles is a nice hard dough. Always look for a nice hard dough when you're making ramen. Once you got your dough nice and crumbly like this, we're just gonna work it in. So kneading time, 20 minutes guys. I'll say 20 minutes of kneading. If you don't knead for 20 minutes, you've done it wrong. See how awkward and crumbly this dough is? That just means you're on the right track. <laughs> this is five minutes in. See how awkward it still looks? You're on the right track. <laughs> Keep going at it, guys. Just keep going at it. Still waiting on that day, guys. This table is still not breaking. <laughs> Definitely not breaking. Just don't mind my triceps, guys. I just need a lot of dough. <laughs> you don't need machine. You are your own machine. That's what it is. <laughs> it's getting there. 15 minutes in. Congratulations, you just rolled out the hardest dough you can ever possibly roll out. And you got a sick tricep workout. <laughs> All we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for 15 minutes, just to let the dough relax. 30 minutes in, my char siu has been baking away. Twist this around like this, because I wanna show you guys. Remember that glaze we just cooked up? We're gonna glaze this. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing to it now, throw this back into the oven for the remainder of the time. Oh, has been resting for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna do now, nothing to it guys. Haters will always hate at this part. I don't know why, they always say, hey, it's fake, it's edited. What's, what's with that edit? I was just like, what? What edit? I just put an effect there, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cry chop? It's a perfect chop again, guys. <laughs> nothing to it now. Take one of the cry chop piece, flatten it out, roll this out. Take you guys over here to my pasta roller. Again guys, there's seven dials and we're just gonna go down to the second dial. So seven, somebody asked why I always just go down to the second dial. You guys can stop at the third, the fourth dial. The second one for me is the right thickness I enjoy my noodles at. So if you want thicker noodles, stop at three, stop at five or stop at seven. Just a beautiful sheet of ramen. You guys can even have this whole sheet as one noodle if you guys want. <laughs> Got some cornstarch here, which I'm just gonna place on, front and back. Turn you guys around again, sorry guys. Run it through our spaghetti cutter. Take some more cornstarch. Roll this around. There it is. One big beautiful bundle of ramen fresh noodles made for your eyes. Once you got that nice and all rolled out, we're just gonna throw it to the side for the time being. Six hours in, our stock is complete. Nothing to it now. All we're gonna do is strain this. Oh yeah, I added a carrot in because it was just laying around. Why not, right? <laughs> so strain this. Filter this. And you should be left with only 12 quarts of rich pork broth to this. Take this, put it back onto your flame here. To season my beautiful broth, I got two heaping scoop of soybean paste. Lastly, this bad boy here. I know every chef has their own twist and take on it. This is my ramen recipe or Narato recipe, so I'm gonna add some good fish sauce in it, guys, to add in onto the umami sauce. So two tablespoon at a time. 
gonna stir that in and I'm gonna taste and adjust for my liking. All day I have four tablespoons of fish sauce to 12 quarts of broth. My broth is just sitting on the low right now. I totally forgot to cut my char siu. So I'll take out your toothpick. Moment of silence for this, please. Just gonna slice down our beautiful pork. Since it's still raw, guys, what we're gonna do is just slice it down and we're just gonna pan fry it. We're gonna pan fry it until it cooks. So we're just pan frying this again just because I goofed it, guys. It would have been perfect if it was cooked. Trial and error. Do this, set this up. So, ramen into the pool. Cooking time. 40 seconds. 40 seconds up, strain it under cold water. The reason why we do this under cold water is because we want to stop the cooking and it helps with the texture. Throw it to our bowl here. Got our broth first. It goes something like this. Char siu. Crispy char siu. Then it goes green onion, two pieces of fish cake, get your egg. I'm nervous. Yeah. Look how beautiful those eggs are. It's just perfect. You got your pickle veg or your medma. Some nori. Take a look at this. Not too shabby. What do you guys think? The real deal or what? I say so. <laughs> when are you guys coming by? Quick time guys while it's still hot. Let's get into this guys, finally. I'm just starving. Oh. Let's try the broth first. With everything in it. Quick time guys. Let's got it. Nice. I'm super pumped for this. Wow. That broth. It's just amazing. <laughs> A little pork. Quick time. It's got it. It's cooked now. It's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mmm. Noodle, quick time. Nice. That's what's up. That's what's up. Egg, quick time. This right here is on a whole new level of love. Mm. Maybe it was a maybe it was a sign. The food god didn't want me to overcook it, so they undercooked it for me. <laughs> for me to char this up. Practically bacon. A 
bit of the Naruto. Naruto. I keep saying Naruto. <laughs> Naruto rice cake. This guy. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. Make this at home. I guarantee you. You'll never eat instant noodles ever again. And it's healthier. That fatty pork bacon. It's just so beautiful. Just so beautiful. Six hours to make. One minute to take down. <laughs> so worth it. So worth it. Best bowl of ramen I ever made in my life. It. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your pop shirts, a food life's beautiful thing shirt. Like, share this. This brat here couldn't even wait, huh, kitty? You couldn't even wait for some air time, huh, kitty? You have to make some noise while I'm doing my outro, huh, kitty? Huh? Huh? You little brat. Can you not make any noise, kitty? I'll give you some air time. You know, I'll give you some air time. You just gotta take it easy, right? <laughs> Peace out!